getting started, and it's about to get a lot better. Uh, I'd like to bring your next guest out here, and it's such an honor uh, that she's here at Toronto Comic Con. Uh, but first up, I'm Teddy, by the way, from Inner Space on the Space Channel. Nice to meet you. Uh, thanks, Rob. Thanks, Dad. Uh, we're on at 6 and 11 on space, and obviously we talk about all things genres, so uh, your next guest is, is dear to our hearts. Of course, she's had so many great roles in the world of genre, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring her out, uh, and then I'm going to leave you guys with her, because this con is all, about, is all about you, so if you can get your questions for Tori ready, that would be, uh, that would be really, really cool. And I know it's sometimes always tough to ask that first question, but uh, don't be afraid. Ask the first question, set the tone, it would be awesome. I know she's really excited to be here too. So without further ado, uh, she's an amazing, prolific Canadian actor, lots of theater work, tons of great roles in film and TV, shows like The Outer Limits, uh, Side Hacker Chronicles of Paranormal, remember the Tech Wars films? Yeah. Of course, but you, you also know and love her, of course, as Dr. Elizabeth Weir on a little show called Stardate Atlantis. Please welcome Tori! up until about a year ago. <laughs> now I'm in the 95%. Um, and it's very humbling. And, and this is an extraordinary experience for me to come here and, and be appreciated for work that I did a few years ago. And thank you, because it means the world. It means the world for my, you know, just keeping your energy up and reminding me why you do it. And, and I can't thank you enough. So. I saw your hand on the shoot up. Do you have anything in up and coming for work or are you looking Next question! Do <laughs> <laughs> you not hear my intro? Um, no, there's actually, I actually don't right now. I'm in, I'm in that humbling moment of, of freelance. Of, you know, I'm looking at, at baristas. I know how to make a mean coffee. You know, if Timmy Hortons didn't have the automatic thing, but I have a bit of hope. No, I, I actually came up to Canada a few months ago. And I've been away for about 10 years, and I came up to sort of dip my toes in up here to see what's happening up here. I used to do a lot of theater in Canada and in Toronto. I've only done a little bit of theater since I've been in LA the last 10 years. And I have been really amazed at how culturally rich this city is. There's so much going on. Everything from the big theaters, the Soul Peppers, the Canadian stage, to these teeny little theaters, Lower Ossington Theater that's sort of Sometimes a theater, sometimes it's a bar, sometimes it's a speakeasy, sometimes it's an art gallery. Then there's these pop-up theaters. I think Red One is a company that just started a, a theater and a storefront theater on Bloor Street. So it's using the concept of pop-up restaurants. And you, 
it's so exciting. It just sort of shows you there's so much creativity here. And people aren't doing it for money or for fame. They're doing it because they want to tell stories, because they, they want to be creative. And, and, and that I'm finding deeply inspiring. So I've rented my house out in LA, and I'll see if I can, how much, yeah, how much I can play here. And hopefully, hopefully something will come up. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Hi. 